Last year we tried planting potatoes without ploughing, using a roll of plastic as a temporary weed blocker. It sort of worked, so this year we tried again to see if the method could be improved. Now just to recap, last year we rolled out parallel strips of plastic and planted potatoes between them directly into holes in the grass, in the sod. Then we gave them each a dollop of old manure, partly to feed them and partly to suppress the grass around them. And when the potatoes had grown big enough, we removed the plastic strip, revealing grass that had died back. And then we could come along with the horses and earth them up, or hill them, as some people know it. That's to suppress the grass and make sure that all the potatoes are growing in the dark soil. The trouble was, in the time it took for the potatoes to grow big enough, the grass between them had grown big enough too, and the earthing up only partly covered up that grass. And that, of course, affected the yield quite a bit. So this year, we did nearly the same thing, but we started earlier with the plastic strips. Actually, they all blew away in the storm, so it wasn't as early as we'd hoped. But anyway, at planting time, we moved the strip sideways one step, revealing some dyed back grass, which we could plant into. We had Mel number one to help us that day too, because we were planting our main crop of potatoes, hundreds and hundreds of potatoes, in land that we'd ploughed as usual. Very nice. The ground's quite hard for it, but still, despite still, still that, have to get the in. Yeah. and Madeline brought a fancy planting device, but a mattock was nearly as good. And again, we planted the potatoes directly into the grassy sod. And we gave these a dollop of manure too. Back on the pack, please. Just, just like that? Yeah, a bit more. Worms and all. Yeah. Because this is the, the mulch, basically, as well. Is Henry waiting his turn? And has the other team. Laura, go. Laura, go. Oh. Lovely. There's a lot more muck going at this end of the road than the other end. That's good. Keep going. Can I be a muck man myself? Yeah, me too. Know? The more the merrier. Now, that was all back in March or April or something, and here we are in June, and the potatoes have mostly done what potatoes want to do, grow into little potato plants. So it's time to earth them up. This time, though, the grass growing between them hasn't had time to recover and take off too much. So now, when we take up the plastic strips between the rows and bring on flora, it looks like a much better job than last year. Ready? 
after two passes with the ridging plough, there's not too much grass showing and a few more rounds over the next few weeks should keep it that way. Anyway, we thought you might like to see this experiment at this stage. We'll have another look at harvest time. And yes, we could use plastic sheet and leave it permanently over the whole area, but we really don't want to do that and it's not good for the soil. We would like to use some sort of organic mulch instead, of course. We are growing potatoes under straw in the garden by the house, but this experiment is to find a method we could use on a field scale. And so far we haven't been able to source any mulch in big enough quantities for that. Log damage. Yes. Some are broken off. Yes, but, but they'll recover. Not too many weeds. No. Considering we didn't plough this one. That's the point of the experiment. 